Hey, it's Gianna. And this is Matt. So Gianna, I've got another internet question for you. Are you ready? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> what is a thirst trap? Oh, here we go again. So first, let's define thirst. Uh, no. <laughs> it's not thirst? It's not thirst. <laughs> not? Well, what's thirst then? So in social media, we define thirst as a form of lust or want. Ooh. So is thirst sexual? Well, yeah, but the concept has evolved to mean any type of online behavior that is created to get a rise out of your audience. So it's a shirtless boy and it's the person posting about their wedding for the 11th. Exactly. The thirsty post is intended to fill some emotional void. Aww. A thirst trap is a photo or image that is posted for one reason and one reason only. To receive affection, attraction, or approval from their followers. Now this isn't done to actually respond to any of these digital advances. It's just to feed the poster's need for attention at the expense of the time and sexual frustration of those who view the image. So it could be content or a specific content creator who are designing their message to elicit a specific reaction from me, like a like or a comment or sliding right into those DMs. Yes. So are thirst traps bad or are they good? Oh, get with the times, Matt. Those types of moral judgments are outdated and kind of sexist. I grew up in Amish country. I'm repressed. When it comes to sexy or flirty thirst traps, we should remember that we all get thirsty sometimes, right? And many people are confident enough to express that online. Should they be shamed for that? No, it's not Gilead yet. But aren't we objectifying these sexy thirst traps? Isn't it kind of like DIY pornography? No, not at all. Humans are built to receive and give love and affection. I designed my social for that purpose and I'm not ashamed of my physical form. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As long as you are comfortable in your own skin, it shouldn't matter if the post is considered thirsty or not. Skin to win. So, expressing thirst in physical and even carnal ways shouldn't be looked down upon. We should be celebrating ourselves in whatever way we wish. Body worshiping thirst is not really much different than folks who post pics of their kids, pics of their dogs, political rants, more pics of their kids, or academic achievements. Well, if that's the case, then I'm the thirst master general. Social media is an expressive medium and we all have our own song to sing. This is a snowballing kind of trend and more of a follow the leader type of tactic. At first it was only celebrities posting images like this and now everyone is comfortable asking for affirmation and approval online. So. Thank you for all this. Now, do you have any suggestions for all those little boys and girls in America who want to grow up to be the next great thirst trap? Be confident of yourself no matter what. Yes, Don't be yes, shy. Yes, You're beautiful. Yes, yes. Mm, well then, a toast to thirst traps. It's literally dripping all over me. It's all over you. <laughs> You're thirsty.